Hello and welcome to F1 Manager 2023. It's launch day and today we're going to be having a little playthrough on the ex exclusive scenarios that we've got. So we've got a couple here, we've got Viva Has Vegas and these hopefully will be updated throughout the year which I believe from the have said they will be. We're going to be having a go at the... There's loads of different ones to choose from, uh, equal performances, uh, ones which and challenges that include specific teams like the Matador, which is the Aston Martin Monaco challenge, winning with Alonso. There's one with Oscar Piastri and McLaren here somewhere. Where's that one? There's one with us. There's, there's Mercedes there, Brazil. Uh, there's one at Monza with Ferrari, which we might try. We'll try that one. Let's just do this one. 33 laps, equal performance at Monza. When the lights go out, the experience... Yada, yada, yada. That's what we want to do. Enter the, into the race at a crucial moment and make the most of the chance to achieve a remarkable result. So I'm assuming this is based on last year's Italian Grand Prix. No. It's New Venazzi. Oh, science is missing. Game. We need to get Giovinazzi fourth place. Okay. Let's try it, shall we? I will be having a proper review of this game uh, coming out in the next couple of days. And at the moment, it's, I've played a little bit. I did a little, a little career mode with Ferrari just to test to see how the game worked and what it was like. So far, it's, I think, a bit of an improvement on last year's game. So anyway, let's see what this is. Tifosi trial. And Antonio Giovinazzi must finish... Higher than fourth place, of course, Le Mans winner Giovinazzi. Monza is a huge occasion for Ferrari, and as they race in front of their beloved fans, with Sainz missing the Grand Prix, Italian reserve Giovinazzi is taking up the mantle, or the reins would have been a better part of being horse based. Starting from P5, helping build his confidence and deliver an impressive Ferrari debut by scoring a podium for the Davosi. Can we do it? Let's go. Start the race. So where are we? Gio's in 5th, Leclerc is in 10th. There's... where are they on the track? They're at the... Leclerc's... Uh, Giovinazzi's into the 1st, Lesmo. Leclerc has just gone in past Magnussen? No. Okay, let's... We can push a bit on the fuel. 45% tyres. Let's get going. Everyone else... Does want decent tyres. It's a yellow flag. What's occurring? Oh, let's be going board. Let's go board with Giovinazzi. So you've got all the, you've got the new same cameras as before, but the new camera this year, the helmet cam, looking splendid. The Giovinazzi in fifth. Hamilton's ahead, 41% tyres for him. Stroll's on the mediums, so I assume they are main recent threats. Close chilling in tenth, and we could have a little look at strategy as we go. We'll do it with Leclerc. He's, I think, I'm 89 rated on this game so far. If we put him on the hards now, will he go to the end? Are we going to have to two stop this? Can we do that? I'm assuming we can. That. We'll do that with Leclerc because why not? And we'll just go by eye with Juventus. We'll just copy Hamilton. Or Alonso's pitting. Do we try and we'll try and we'll push Giovinazzi? He's our main focus. Leclerc's overtaken back, and so we know what he can do. We'll make, also, we'll make Leclerc a high aggressive overtakes. Giovinazzi's in P3, so look, we'll push, push this lap. Hamilton's in, so we'll try the slight overcut, which I don't think works that much on this game. But we'll go to me medium tyres. Confirm pit. We'll see what the handle. What's Alonso coming out on? Like no one clear. Alonso's coming out on hards. Hamilton's also on hards. We're going mediums. Are they going to try and go to the end? You can catch him. We'll change it. We'll change it to them. And we'll tell Leclerc to box next lap, and we'll go. We'll, we'll run his two stop. So this is Giovinazzi pushing, hopefully. He's gone purple sector one. You know what the gap was? The gap behind five, six, 
Nani. Okay. 20 seconds ish. Let's find out. As, can we get Giovinazzi a podium? We're currently completing the challenge. If the race was thrown flag now, that would be good frontier. <laughs> but not currently. We'll skip for work. Oh, get Giovinazzi into the pits for Staffman's also boxing, stroll boxing from um, third place as well. Will Gio come out ahead of Hamilton? He does. Giovinazzi does come out ahead of Hamilton. Leclerc is also still ahead. We'll go aggressive just to warm the tyres up, push a bit of fuel because for some reason we've got loads of fuel. And Giovinazzi is P9. Hamilton is half a second behind us. Leclerc's in the pits. And two seconds, which technically that's third fastest pit stop. Good job, us. So now Giovinazzi's there. What's. This is going to be tough because you're two seconds behind. Two seconds behind. Roll. Can't afford to squabble. We might need to see, try and use Hamilton to slipstream us and pull us along towards Stroll. Hopefully, hopefully Hamilton's got the pace to do that. He's not the. They're not. I don't want them to fight because I want them to just really defend. Just a, a bit of neutral, low, low overtakes. So just sit behind and just try and be towed along. To Lance Roll, which is what we want to happen. The Claire is going well. Cheers. Giovinazzi and Hamilton are squabbling. I don't like it. Like, oh, I could just get to push. Push a bit more, but we don't have the battery. We could harvest, harvest a bit of battery. We are, we are getting closer to Stroll. We are now only a second behind Stroll and we're harvesting uh, ERS. Yep. Hamilton's going to be in DRS on Lance Stroll soon. So which means we will be in DRS also. So we're now just sitting behind Hamilton, 10th behind Hamilton. We'll go for the deploy down this main street. See if we can get into that DRS on Lance Stroll. Then it's just a if we can get past Lance Stroll, we'll be able to get up to Hulkenberg and we'll just go past Hulkenberg. The Clo is catching Bottas. We've uh, we run out of ERS with Givenazzi, but he has overtaken Hamilton. Now this was the seventh corner. It's there for the taking. Standard DRS overtake. Lovely jubbly. We need to get up to Lance Stroll. Are we within a second of Lance Stroll? We are. Come on, Gio. Leclerc is also going along nicely, plodding along in 12th. And we should hopefully be within DRS of Stroll. Come on, get it, get the DRS. We, we're not looking at it, we do. I think we do, we do get it. We should be able to just charge the battery now. Leclerc has gone quickest. Oh, good to neutral. As we try and head towards and close up on Lance Stroll. The player is also still P11 now. But no, this is good. This is the game graphically looks nice. It's a, it's a, looks, anyway, this is, these aren't the ultra settings. These are, I think, medium. Just I wanted to be safe when I recorded the video. But hopefully, we'll try and turn up the, the graphics for later videos just to see what it looks like. But no, the car, all the cars look nice the on board the off board cameras look good it's hamilton's coming we'll try and speed forward a little bit now so we'll have to go aggressive just to try and get stroll we're in drs of stroll we'll harvest now neutral three tenths two tenths one tenths look to clears over there in gasly the clear is now back into the points but he's over eight and a half seconds behind us i'm not sure what year this set is set on i'm not sure like, why ferrari is so slow i know in real life they've just don't quite win in Belgium, but they're not this. They've never been this bad. The players out of ERS. I'll put the ERS battle assist on. Let's see. That's a new feature for this year. We'll see how that goes. Come on, science. Let's see what you got. Yeah, science, Giovinazzi. 
to go on board and you're going to blitz past Lance Stroll here around the outside into turn one is he going to go for it Lance Stroll defends go on Gio around the outside squeeze him out squeeze him out and he's past it deploy deploy no don't let him come back through Gio but this is our battle so we're going to head back down the main street we've we haven't got past him, but Stroll is caught up the Hulkenberg because Hulkenberg's tyres have decided they no longer want to work as tyres. We have overpassed Lance Stroll, who's also overtaken Hulkenberg. We need, we need to get him. Come on. Come on, Gio. I overtake. That's probably going to help us. Push, 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 push. We've got no ERS, that's part of the problem here. Not lacking in ERS. Stuck behind the hats. He's gonna get the ERS on stroll. This is not going well. Can we harvest a little bit? We speed forward a little bit. Harvest down the main straight. Go for neutral next lap. And then we'll go for a full push down the main straight. It's cheap. But we squeeze past then. Go for deploy. Maximum attack. Surely we've got to get him now. This is our, We have to get him now. Compromising our, our podium potential. Norris is 12 seconds on the road. We've got, we got better time where the rolls. We can push a little bit. Slightly worse than Verstappen, Leclerc's on medium, so that's not really an issue. He's chilling, he's running into the low on fuel, but that's okay. We can conserve for Leclerc. Leclerc is not our problem this race currently, because he's good enough to just do Leclerc things. So 2.7 to lap gap to Lance Stroll, see if we can gap Hamilton and Hulkenberg. Hopefully Hulkenberg can hold Hamilton up for a little bit. And will give us a bit of a chance to breathe. So we will break the DRS to Hulkenberg and Hamilton. We need to see if we can get up to Lance Stroll, who's with La Lando Norris there. Hamilton's up to us already, because that Mercedes is rapid. Norris is slow. Hamilton's gone past us. Let's see what we're doing. Let's go back into neutral. We're now stuck behind Lando Norris. Who's in turn stuck behind? Well, not stuck behind him, behind Lance Stroll. We're going to have to stop defending so much, Lando. You don't do this in real life. Let's we'll see if we can go around him. Round, hopefully, the DRS overtake. Boot past. Hamilton's don't make it three wide, Lewis. He squeezes through as well. Hamilton. This is a madman, Hamilton. Real life, real life, Hamilton wouldn't have squeezed back there. Oh, what a great overtake there. Let's have a look. Cheers. And we're going. Leclerc, another fastest lap. He is on. <laughs> Minus seven worth of fuel, though. Let's we'll skip forward a little bit. Let's see if we can have to stroll. Leclerc is coming. We can use Hamilton again to tow us back towards Lance Stroll. Leclerc is here coming as well. He's reaping with us, Leclerc. But Hamilton is slowly helping us catch up to Stroll. We're just slowly recharging our DR ERS with. With um, we'll pick Leclerc, stick to his normal strategy. Go for the two stop. See if anyone else does the two stop. I don't think they are going to. We might be able to just push a little bit. More of the tyres. The tyre temps are crucial this year at the game. They do overheat quickly. I think this, this challenge is quite hard. Ooh. G Geo! What's he done? Oh, 
<laughs> no. <laughs> That's the Hamilton we know. Oh. We're gonna have to box, and he's got a penalty. He's got a ten-second penalty. Oh. Do we have a new set of tires? No, we do not. At least if that was a yellow flag, that would be great, but it's not. We're both good. That's this. This challenge is done. The clerk got the fastest pit stop. Yay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, because this challenge was to finish on the podium of Giovinazzi, but that's not going to happen now. Unless we have a late safety car. This, I don't think this could have gone any worse. The only way this goes worse is if we both double, if they crashed into each other, which they haven't done. But, yeah, this has been a disaster. An absolute disaster. Got chassis damage, rear wing, da oh, front wing, oh dear. Yeah, I think this is just gonna be a sim forward to the end of the race. Hamilton boxing. It doesn't matter. He's back with Giovinazzi. They'll probably crash again. But this is the challenge failed. Ah. Hamilton's actually Giovinazzi's actually got past Hamilton now. Well done, boys. You managed to get past it without crashing into each other. But no, nope, this challenge is gone. Claire's fastest lap. Unless Pian unless Chivinazzi's lapping 20 seconds faster than everyone else. He's not going to get there. He's definitely a bit faster than everyone else. But he's still just too far back. Might get a point. He's battling Perez, which probably says more about Perez, really, in this game. At least he's got he's an AI down accurate. Down in ninth. But no, that's it. Challenge, <laughs> challenge. I'm so annoyed at that. That was in 10th, bloody hell. Max, Max is, what? Four laps to go. George Russell could win this. Where is George? How far away is George Russell from the lead? Wild. But no, I do, enjoy, I've enjoy, I do enjoy these challenges on this game, I think. I think we'll definitely do a couple more of these. But this one has been a disaster. I think this is, yeah. Well, but as I first look at the game, not gone great but the game is good positives there i'll definitely be drawing these again at a later date he was to deploy the battery last lap max verstappen is gonna win it shock or alonso is gonna win it one of those two doesn't really matter we've cocked up massively leclerc's come over he's gonna come in with fifth geo is gonna come over with 11th what a bad day what <laughs> Alonso's going to win in front of the Devosi. Congratulations, Alonso. You've won. Well done, Fernando Alonso. You've won. But at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? At what cost is Giovinazzi? He's in... Leclerc stopped just past the finish line because he ran out of fuel. That's fine. He did cross the finish line. Yes, he did. See if he's going to go over in P11. Oh. Failed. Anyway. I'm sorry I couldn't do that. I will try another challenge again soon. And I will try this one again. And hopefully complete it. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this first quick look at F1 Manager 2023. Stay tuned for more. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.